Using slang at work. Navigating the professional lingo. Hey learners! Welcome back to another video on the English language. Today, we're diving deep into the world of workplace slang and colloquialisms, specifically focusing on when it's appropriate to use them. Have you ever wondered if that trendy phrase is okay to use during a business meeting? Let's find out! First things first. What are slang and colloquialisms? In simple terms, they're informal language we use in everyday conversations. They might not always be found in formal dictionaries, but they're a huge part of how we communicate every day. In the workplace, there are specific jargons, phrases, or terms that people often use. For example, touch base means to briefly meet or talk about a specific issue. The key to using slang and colloquialisms appropriately is understanding the context. Not every work environment is the same. A laid-back startup might have different communication norms compared to a traditional law firm. Be observant. Listen to how colleagues or supervisors speak. Do they use a lot of jargons or keep it strictly formal? There are moments when you might want to avoid slang. 1. During formal meetings, especially when discussing critical issues or when addressing a wide audience. 2. With clients, until you understand their comfort level. 3. In written communications, emails and reports are often shared and stored, so clarity is key. 4. If unsure, if you don't fully understand the meaning or usage of a slang term, better skip it. Sometimes, using slang can make conversations smoother and more relatable. 1. Team bonding. It can be a way to establish camaraderie. 2. Informal settings, like office get-togethers or casual lunches. 3. When mirroring others. If senior colleagues or clients use certain terms, it can be okay to mirror their language style, within limits, of course. Lastly, remember that slang can sometimes be regional or cultural. What's understood and accepted in one country might not be in another. Always be mindful of cultural differences, especially in international settings. So, there you have it. Slang and colloquialisms can be fun and relatable when used correctly. Just remember to read the room and always be considerate of your audience. We hope this video helps you navigate the intriguing world of workplace jargons. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.